In this video, we'll see the principles of linear impulse and linear momentum regarding to the stator problem here. And then the problem said that a tennis player strikes the tennis ball with her racket while the ball is still rising. The ball speed before impact with the rocket is 50 meter per second and then after impact is 22 meter per second with the direction as shown in the figure. So if the 60 gram ball is in contact with the rocket for 0.05 seconds, determine the magnitudes of the average force R exerted by the rocket and on the ball and then find the angle alpha made by R with the horizontal. Then comment on the treatments of the ball weight during the impact. So this is the equation. So for solving this problem, just let's see some of the basic principles here. So when she strikes with her rocket, then she apply an average force of R just like this one. So and then the ball has its own weight toward the, the negative Y direction. So the R component can be decomposed into Rx and then Ry just like this. So once she apply this force, so the ball just projectile in the directions of 20 degree from the horizontal. So this is the equation. So let's just solve the required parameters of the average force and then the angle it makes with the horizontal x-axis. Let us start from the given part. So V1 is given as 15 meter per second. V2 is given as 22 meter per second. And time is 0 0.05 second and then mass is given as 60 gram which is 0 0.06 kilogram so those are the given parameters and the required part is the exhausted force r to evaluate it just let's construct the free body diagram so the free body diagram for the ball can be expressed in this way Now let's see, this is just the horizontal axis and this one is the vertical axis. We know that the velocity before impact is at 10 degree and then V1 is given as 15. So V1 in the X can be just it is in the negative X axis. So it will be negative 15 times cos 10 degree. And then its value will be negative 14.77 meter per second. And then V1 in the y direction is 15 times sine 10 degree. So it will be 2.6 meter per second in the positive y direction. And then for after impact, we know that the velocity is given as V2. Let's say this is V2 is given as 22 meter per second at an angle of 20 degree. So V2x can be equal to 22 cos 20 degree and then this value will be 20.67 meter per second and then V2 in the y is 22 times sine 20 degree and then finally it will become 7.52 meter per second. Now if we take out the force diagram that means we'll have a force along the x-axis due to the racket so let's say this is fx or let's say this is rx and then we'll have a force into the y direction let's say this force is ry and then we know that the particle or the ball will have its own weight so let's say that weight is just mg is in the downward direction so those are the three forces which will be applied on the particle now by applying a linear momentum and impulse principle we know that mass times velocity one in the x plus the integration of summation so force in the x with respect to dt from t1 up to t2 is equals to mv to x and then m v1 in the y direction plus the integrations of submissions of force in the y with respect to dt from t1 up to t2 is equals to m times v2 in the y direction so we know this 
principles and then based on this let's just apply the numerical values and then we can get the force which is rx and then ry but summation of so force in the x is equals to the only force is rx and then summation of so force in the y direction is just ry minus mg so those are the two forces now let's substitute them into equation one and equation two now from equation one that means m v1 in the x plus the integrations of rx dt is equals to m v2 in the x direction this means if you substitute the numerical values the mass is 0 0.06 times v1 x is minus 14.77 Plus, since the force is constant, we can simply r times change in t. So it will be just rx times change in t. In this case, is the time is given as 0 0.05, which is equals to 0 0.06 times vx2, which is equals to 20.67. So the only unknown parameter here is just rx. So we can evaluate rx. So if you just calculate this then finally we will get rx is equals to 42.5 newton so this is the value of rx and then from equation 2 let's substitute that so m v1 in the y plus now the integrations of both four so that means the integrations of ry dt and then minus the integrations of mg dt is equals to m times v2x so if you substitute the numerical values we'll get 0 0.06 times 2.6 then plus now the integrations of ry times dt that means 0 0.05 times ry minus mass times gravity which means 0 0.06 times gravity is 9.81 times and the time is in this case 0 0.05 is equals to now the mass is 0 0.06 and then v2y so this is this should be v2y previously so v2y is in this case it is 7.52 so here is the only unknown parameter is also ry so if you just evaluate this you will get ry is equals to 6.49 newton so this is the value of ry now once we get this we can evaluate the magnitudes of r that means the magnitude of r can be evaluated in this way so r is equals to and the radical rx squared plus ry squared so this is under radical 42.5 squared plus 6.49 squared so if you just evaluate this finally you'll get the r value as 43 newton this implied that in the rx we have this much and then in the ry we'll have this much so rx is just 42.5 and then ry is 6.49 newton so r will be in this part so this is r and then at an angle of alpha so alpha will be just alpha can be evaluated by tan inverse of opposite over adjacent that means r y over r x so alpha can be equals to 8.68 degree so this is the inclinations of this now the other parameter is to justify whether the width of the ball is is significant or not so to evaluate it just let's evaluate its magnitude so the weight is just weight of the ball can be evaluated in this way so mass times gravity which is equals to 0 0.06 times 9.81 then if evaluate that finally you will get 0 0.589 newton so let's compare this with respect to the 
force in the r direction that means what percent of the weight of the ball is in the r y direction so that means in the percent if you expert that so it will be equal to 0 0.589 divided with 6.49 times 100 percent and then if you evaluate it you will get nine percent since the ball is or the weight of the ball is nine percent of the reaction force in the r direction or in the y direction so it should be considered during the analysis so we don't need to just ignore it so we have to use it so we have to consider the weight of the ball so this is it